Assalamualaikum. These are uh, very ancient uh, writing tool which is called uh, reed pen and also it's also called bamboo pen. And it's very easy to make uh, and very cheap but it's very painstaking uh, to write uh, uh, like in speed. It's very very uh, hard to write a whole page with this stick and um, let me demonstrate. So to write just one, uh, uh, so to write just one line, it will take me about uh, uh, twenty to thirty times to dip in this ink before I finish that line. Uh, this is how it is written with the reed pen. It's uh, we have to dip it every time the ink is uh, empty in this uh, uh, in the tip. But uh, uh, lately, modern uh, technology, the markers, uh, it's just open and write whatever you want to write. How many pages do you want? Uh, you want to write? It's very easy. Like this. This is the difference between a reed pen and a marker.
Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman. So we're going to talk about um, Arabic calligraphy and I'm going to demonstrate the Ruqa font. So this is the easiest one to start with. And of course calligraphy has to follow some rules and measurements. So it depends on the bamboo. The bamboo is a lot to write with bamboo and ink. And you have to use some kind of a glossy paper so the bamboo slides easily. And usually the pens are cut 35 to 45 degrees. And the ink, anything um, else? You can put calligraphy ink, and I'm using something called liquor. It's like a silk material to give you enough exactly what you need from uh, the ink, so you're not getting too much. So I'm gonna describe doing in some alphabets, then I will write like one word after that. So, for example, if we're doing the alif, so I, you guys can see this is the measurements for the pen, they're probably the same size. So for example, for the Aleph, it has to be, the measurements for it's about three dots. Okay. So that's, that tells you how much you can extend your Aleph, for example. So if I'm doing my Aleph, it has to be held 45 degrees. This is the link for the alif. See, I stop exactly on the line. For the ba, for example, it starts from about two dots, two and a half dots actually. We do this for the half dot. So this is the beginning of the ba. We stop almost here. Then the length of the bar is about three dots. And it sits exactly on the line. Watch that the end of the bar does not exceed that length. And the dot for the bar gets exactly on the middle. And this is the length. So that shows you that. So that's kind of like the rules, and there's a rule for each letter. So that's why when you learn calligraphy, it's better to actually learn the the, the rules for each one of them. So. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Zulfikar Ali and I am the calligrapher here. Actually four years ago I was the only calligrapher and over a period of time, Alhamdulillah, we have very good team of calligraphers now. And one of them comes from all the way from Dallas and we have local artists here too. Uh, today I will be writing uh, Allah's names. Uh, it means Yakari, uh, the one that is you know, very uh, starting with the name of Allah. Um, usually we on the paper we write with this uh, columns and we have a set of columns for here, here uh, different sizes we have broader stroke and it goes from here to here up till a very small stroke for writing on the books so this for uh, writing on the you know if you want writing a lighter or something uh, today I will be writing on the um, canvas so for the canvas these columns don't work this, these are made of bamboo so they don't work. So I'm gonna use a marker. It's a Copic marker, and it's easily available here in US stores. So I'm gonna inshallah write ya rahi, uh, ya kareem uh, with the marker. 